I know what y'all thinking. When you seen this and you saw the tattoos on the face, tattoos on the neck, how many of y'all looked at this, especially in the thumbnail, and said, damn, Jay was right. I usually am. I think that those type of tattoos are just not indicative of good people, right? But nonetheless, this story is an update. So if you haven't already seen the original, I encourage you. It was a while back. Sometimes it takes a long time for us to get to the end, the final sentencing in this story. So for a lot of you guys, it's going to be a refresher. So before we get to that, let me give you guys a disclaimer about my content if you've never been here before. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. And I'm getting this story from KTTC.com. So if you guys are listening, thank you for the article. Mower County, Minnesota, I believe. Darius, D-A-R-I-A-Z, which is a very, very unique way of spelling that. That uh, fool that you guys see right there, he's going to look different because these are all different pictures, all different mug shots. He is currently 40 years old from what I understand, and he entered a guilty plea. And here's what y'all got to understand about this story. Yes, he murdered this beautiful angel, Nolani Robinson. We've already talked about this story before. We'll get back to his stupid tattoos here in a minute. He killed two people. Just so y'all understand, the mother who was on the right-hand side of the screen, and then he murdered the little girl on top of that. And let me say this. Y'all want to continue to keep having sex with thugs and dealing with thugs and dating thugs and have kids and date and have young kids that can't speak for themselves nor defend themselves. When I say thug, thug is not black. Thug is not a skin color. Thug is an action. It is a behavior characteristic. Right? So I'm not calling him a thug because he's black. I'm calling him a thug because he is a thug lion. He is a fool. He is a non-law-abiding citizen. And he should have never had access to children. And nobody should be dating him. But y'all continue to do it, and I don't know why. And Because this is the outcome. But nonetheless, he entered a guilty plea. More than five years later in this case of his daughter's death after being extradited back to Minnesota. His daughter's dead body was found in a ditch back in 2019. That's how long it takes for these stories to finally get a conclusion. So for those who are wondering, what's the update? Especially like with the Billy Simone Williams story, where they're going to court in May, May of 2024. And I know that's been going on for a few years now, right? So it takes a little while. Higgins was convicted and sentenced to life in prison for shooting and killing Sierra Robinson, who was the mother of their child. Two-year-old Nolani in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, after being extradited back, Higgins has pled guilty to second-degree murder without intent in Minnesota for the death of Nolani. And how he got off on that is probably a technicality because he had every intention of murdering this child, in my humble opinion. Okay. Now, according to doc court documents, in March of 2019, Higgins was staying at the Roadway Inn Motel in Austin, Minnesota. And y'all know that is the epitome of a roach motel. That is a one-star, probably a half-a-star hotel. That's the cheapest of the cheap. It's the lowest of the low. That's damn near on the level of paying for a hotel hourly, right? Roadway Hotel is crap as a brand. OK, Minnesota with no lining from February 6th of 2019 until March 10th of 2019. Police say March 10th was the day his daughter's body was removed from the hotel and taken to a ditch. Then March 11th, an Amber Alert was issued for no lining after her mother, Sierra Robinson, was murdered in Milwaukee by Higgins, according to KTTC's sister station, Madison W-I-W-M-T-V. That's a lot. Anyway, 
Nolani's body was dis- was found five days later on March 15th, wrapped in a blanket. Is that not sound like the last story we just did? Dead body wrapped in a blanket. It's like everybody keep doing the same damn thing, killing kids, wrap them in a blanket. They fail. They hit their head. They drowned in a tub. They were they were asleep. I didn't know something was wrong with them. I neglected to go to the hospital. All these stories all sound the same. Every one of them. She was wrapped in a blanket in the East Ditch, north of Highway 218 and Highway 30 by a passerby. Family members later confirmed the identity of the body. When authorities went to get a DNA sample from Higgins on March 18th in Milwaukee County Jail, he told Milwaukee investigators, No, Lonnie fell off the toilet and subsequently died. That's his story and he's sticking to it. Has that ever even happened in history? A child was on the toilet, so I'm assuming they're using the potty. They fell off the potty, which is like, what, a foot or two off the ground? Fell in such a fashion that they got multiple blunt force trauma injuries and died? When in the... God, I am trying not to cuss. But y'all about to hear some cuss words here in a minute, so just brace yourselves. When has that ever happened in the history of planet Earth? Higgins then told police he wrapped the body in a blanket and left her on the floor by the bed for a couple of days. That's the thumbnail to the original story that I did now that I think about it. So if y'all look on my channel, go into the search, you can find the original story. This is a long time ago when I talked about this. Somebody who can treat their own flesh and blood this way, ladies, those are the type of people you're having sex with. They don't even have a place to live and they're living in a roadway inn and suites. That's who y'all producing kids by? That's a tr- What is attractive about that? What is attractive about that dumb ass behavior? Yeah, he didn't call 911. He didn't do anything. Oh, Lord. That's when Higgins told police he and, an, and another adult female, not the mother, loaded up the car to drive for Minneapolis in blizzard conditions and left the body in the ditch since they could not travel with his dead daughter's body. Higgins acknowledged his daughter had been dead for a few days when he put the body in a ditch. No 911. The autopsy on Nolani determined that she died from blunt force trauma to the head and probably had multiple blunt force trauma injuries. She also had blunt force injuries on her extremities from falling off a toilet while trying to potty train, I guess, right? She, she just somehow fell and killed herself. Higgins was arrested in Wisconsin and pled guilty in April of 2021 for killing Sierra Robinson. So he killed her, but didn't kill his daughter that fell off the toilet, right? Where he's been serving his life sentence in the Walpun Correctional Institution. Higgins will appear in a Mower County courtroom Wednesday for his plea hearing, but he's already been sentenced for that. That's over and done with. His life is a wrap as we know it. Let me give you guys the news videos. Uh, Hold on. Here we go. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I'm just curious. I know people have died on the toilet, but they didn't die from falling off the toilet. Y'all catch that? 
I want y'all to tell me one single time in the history of planet Earth that a child was using the bathroom and for some unknown reason, they fell off the toilet and because of them falling off the toilet, the trauma of falling off the toilet caused them to die. Just give me one story. Because that is just mf and stupid. Hit that thumbs up. We're about to give away some channel memberships here in a minute. Please hit that thumbs up, okay? Here we go. Five years, a day in court today for two-year-old Nolani Robinson, who was found dead, wrapped in a blanket on the side of a road near Blooming Prairie. That is our top story tonight. Thanks for being with us. I'm Brock Burgi. Caitlin has the night off. KTDC's Olivia Prodzinski was in Austin today where that young girl's father, Darius Higgins, pleaded guilty to murder charges. Olivia, what did the county attorney have to say on this case? Brock, Moore County Attorney Kristen Nelson says while Higgins pleaded guilty today, a lot of work went into this case over five years. She says extra extraditing him from Wisconsin, where he has already been convicted of murder and the pandemic played a role in slowing down justice. And I want y'all to remember, I'm not talking about people who died on the toilet. They died from something else. I'm talking about somebody who suffered an injury from falling off the toilet. And the injury of falling off the toilet caused them to die. That's what I'm talking about. Tell me one time in history that's ever happened to any human being, let alone a baby. According to court documents, two-year-old Nolani Robinson's body was wrapped in a blanket in an Austin motel room for days before her father, Darius Higgins, left her on the side of the road outside of Blooming Prairie. Higgins' criminal complaint also details that in between killing his daughter and ridding himself of her body, he traveled to Milwaukee to shoot and kill Nalini's mother, Sierra Robinson. He's currently serving a life sentence for the mother's death in Wisconsin. Now, five years later, Higgins has pleaded guilty to Nalini's death. It's just sad. Um, I, we're done with our case, but at the end, we still have a dead child um, who was killed by her father. So, um, it, there's some relief that we've gotten her some justice, but you, you can't bring her back. During the plea hearing, Higgins admitted to beating Nolaney to death, something Mower County attorney Kristen Nelson says is horrific. She couldn't get the basic kindness from her father who beat her and killed her. Steele County Sheriff Lon Teeley questions if there really can be justice after a loss of life. I mean, how many years can you get for that? It's just, it's unfortunate. It's such a a tragic and heinous event that uh, this un this two-year-old will never get to. And if y'all are listening, do me a favor and please click that thumbs up so you can share the story. That's all we need, just more people to comment and more people to share it and hit that thumbs up. It helps that algorithm help share this out so more people can see it, okay? Live, but the relations of this two-year-old will never get to see this two-year-old grow up. Higgins appeared before the Mower County judge wearing a bright orange jail. Face tattoos, look. And y'all notice how he has the prayer hands in the middle of his face tattoo. And those people are Bible thumpers. Do they believe in God? Do they really, really, truly believe in, in a heaven, in hell? Really? You think these people care about human life? He's going straight to hell for what he did. If adults get into it, I'm not so much concerned about that. I'm usually, and y'all know where my heart is. Y'all see the t-shirt, AFC Podcast, Advocates for Children. I let adults do what they do. I'm here and I'm concerned about these children. He's going to hell for what he did to his own daughter. Can you dig it? Let's keep going. Elishied uniform, showing minimal remorse for his crimes. An unnecessary event that some coward dead to a two-year-old he's one of those people only god can judge me that's probably what that tattoo in the middle of his forehead is saying during the hearing higgins was sentenced to 17 years in prison but family members of nolaney shared during impact statements that they will carry this trauma for the rest of their life this will never leave them they can never get beyond it they have to live with it every day it's nice to at least be able to turn that page for them Higgins will serve this time in Wisconsin in tandem to his life sentence. According to court documents, there was a female Higgins with Higgins at the time that he dropped off Nolaney's body. And it, the court, county attorney tells me that 
she is not facing charges because she was cooperative with authorities and that they cannot prove that she had anything to do with Nalini's death. What a story uh, and, and not a, uh, a, a case. Really, what words do you have for that? And the, the sounds echoed that, Olivia. Thank you. More than five years after the case of his daughter's death, Darius Higgins enters a guilty plea after he was extradited from Wisconsin to Minnesota. His daughter's body was found in a ditch back in 2019. Higgins was convicted and sentenced to life in prison for shooting and killing Sierra Robinson, the mother of their child, two-year-old Nolani in Milwaukee. Now after being extradited back, Higgins has pleaded guilty to second-degree murder without intent in Minnesota for the death of Nolani. According to court documents in March of 2019, Higgins was staying at the Roadway Inn Motel in Austin with Nolani, where she died of blunt force trauma to the head. Higgins then took her body to a ditch north of Blooming Prairie and left her there wrapped in a blanket during the blizzard conditions before traveling back to Wisconsin to kill Sierra. The More than two years have passed since we learned of the murders of a young mother and her two-year-old daughter. Their bodies found in two different states. Uh, today, the child's father was sentenced for the murder of her mother. The case against Darius Higgins is complicated, shocking, and tragic. CBS 58's Gabriella Becerra is live in Milwaukee with what happened today. Gabriella. Jess of the courtroom gallery was nearly full this morning as family and friends of the two victims showed up to not only say their piece, but also get answers. After two years, I can get closure. I can start healing. A weight now lifted off of Lanesha Parker's shoulders for the first time in two years. Man, I wanted to give up and I couldn't give up because no, no lining in Sierra. So y'all, this one is definitely for y'all. Parker I feels closure after a Milwaukee County judge sentenced Darius Higgins to life in prison without parole on charges of first degree intentional homicide and first degree attempted homicide. What I see is somebody who has absolutely no remorse for the crimes that he has committed and quite frankly is still blaming the victim. It's, it's stunning to me. After allegedly killing his two-year-old daughter, Higgins shot and killed the mother, Sierra Robinson, ten times. You took two people from me. You know? I'm curious about something because I noticed that these women are sad that the mother and the kid are dead. And I'm not trying to stick my finger in a wound. But I'm just curious. I'm just flat out curious, and I'm going to look into the camera when I ask this. I need somebody in the chat who's listened to this story right now to tell me if knowing that this type of thing happens when you date thugs and you date death, when you make your bed, you lay in it, is this going to deter any of these women from dating people who are similar in stature and behavior to this fool who murdered his baby mom and his baby. So let me pose that question again. Do you think that this is going to deter these women from dating fools like this? Just my opinion. I'm just asking a question. Because I don't think it, I don't think it's going to deter them at all. I think, a lot of these women, including the women y'all just saw on the screen, are probably dating dudes just like this. He wouldn't do that to me. I got to me a good man, y'all. I got to me a good man. Never, ever get to hug him, get to say I love you. <laughs> Today, the question that's been keeping her loved ones up at night. Why? That's all I can ask is why. Was finally answered. I did not know that it was going to end up turning out the way that it did, but Sierra took something from me. She took something from me. Now, look, I want y'all to think about this. He said that she took something from him. What do y'all want to bet that that thing, even though he was in nondescript about what it was, you notice it couldn't have been that important because he didn't say what it was. But I can almost guarantee you the thing that she took away was in between her legs. What y'all want to bet? 
the thing that they get with these type of men that are bottom of the barrel type men because they feel like those men will not leave them. They will value them more than they value themselves more. They'll value these women more than anything is they want a man that is not going to go anywhere, is going to stay loyal and faithful to them until they realize, oh, he's an idiot. Oh, he's not a good person. Oh, he's violent. Oh, he's going to talk that way to me. I thought he would just behave that way to everybody else. I didn't think he would do me like that. Right? Now she wants to leave. And now he's like, you know what? You just took away everything that I wanted in life, which was between your legs. And now since I can't have it anymore, nobody else can. That's what I believe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Higgins is also facing charges for. What you guys up to? This is where they picked him up. I'm showing y'all this video because I never saw this before. So hopefully y'all can still see this. I know we're having some technical difficulties. Take a look at this. This is when they picked him up. Take a look at this. What you guys up to? You guys stay in here? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just got to send out here. I was coming to check right, and make sure everything's okay. Everything's all right? Okay. All right. You guys got your ID on real quick just so I can say I talk to you? Just log your info real quick. You stay here too? Yeah. Just finish up. They don't let you smoke in there, do they? Oh, man. I tell you what. Thank you. Go ahead. And from Wisconsin? You got your uh, Wisconsin ID? What's he got going on? I know what he's, I mean, he's got warrants or something. Okay, some weed? It's legal here. Radio 6, the uh, black vehicle just fled the scene here. I have the female with me here. The, it's a black Honda SUV westbound out towards Middle Belt. Look at that. Golly. Milwaukee County judge stunned by a man's lack of remorse, sentencing him to life in prison without parole. That is for the shooting death of his ex-girlfriend, Sierra Robinson. Darius Higgins also getting an additional 10 years for wounding her friend. Fox 6's Bill Miston explains Higgins still facing a murder trial for the death of his two-year-old daughter. Hey there, Mary and Ben. You may remember an Amber Alert was issued for Nolani Robinson after those shootings here in Milwaukee back in March of 2019. Well, unfortunately, Nolani's body was found in a ditch in southeastern Minnesota several days after those shootings. That case still pending. And today, Higgins, uh, any leniency he may have received from the judge going out the window when he chose to address the court and blamed the shooting victims here in Milwaukee. I did not know that it was going to end up turning out the way that it did, but Sierra took something from me, and she tried to use the baby as a bargaining chip. Quite frankly, it would have been to your benefit to probably say nothing. Judge Janet Protezea would say in the nearly three years she's handled homicide and sex crimes cases, twice she's declined the opportunity for parole and sentencing. Higgins would become the third. The 37-year-old pleaded guilty in April to shooting and killing his ex, Sierra Robinson, and wounding her friend, Lanesha Parker, in March 2019. Robinson, from Las Vegas, had flown to Milwaukee to pick up her daughter, Nolani. Prosecutors said Higgins led the two women on a goose chase around Milwaukee prior to the shooting, eventually claiming the girl was in a Northside apartment. The girl, prosecutors say, was already dead, lying in a Minnesota ditch. That's deplorable. The defense and prosecution had asked for prison time, eventually with the opportunity to ask for parole. Family and friends of Robinson filling the gallery, her mother and others addressing the court asking for... Why would anybody ever want him to parole out? You killed two people, including your own flesh and blood. Why would anybody show that type of person mercy? No chance for parole, including You're Parker, here. who was wounded. A round of applause going up as Higgins sentenced to life without parole an additional 10 years for shooting Parker. As many times as I wanted to give up, y'all, I wanted to give up so bad. Man, I wanted to give up and I couldn't give up because no, no line in Sierra. Parker still dealing with the scars and wounds of being shot eight times, an emotional roller coaster that started two years ago, but that's not over. It's one by And they said he shot somebody else. Oh my God. He shot somebody else eight times. Clearly, he wanted them to die, too. And they're, and they're, 
hmm, we need to consider maybe letting him get parole later in life for freaking what? We got round two, and I'm going to be right there. For when the murder case of two-year-old Nolani begins in Minnesota. Now, while Higgins' uh, legal troubles here in Milwaukee County may be over again, he still faces a second-degree murder charge in Mauer County, Minnesota. Uh, uh, for the uh, Now, so all of that is over and done with. He's going to life. I said going to life, going to do life in prison permanently for those two individuals' deaths, especially the death of this little girl, beautiful little baby. She deserved every opportunity to grow up and become something great. But let me say this because I say this from my heart to the ladies because I care about y'all and I love y'all. And I know that you guys are the ones who are responsible for dealing with these men and bringing life into this world. And if you don't want to have life, you don't have to have it. But if you do, we have to make sure that we bring children into this world with a plan, a feasible plan that makes sense for all parties. We have to think that much about it rather than just thinking about our own personal sexual desires, our own personal feelings. Because if all we care about is dating thugs and because of how this person makes you feel, then just don't produce children. Is it that freaking hard not to do? Date thugs, you date death, deal with it. Just don't produce children because this baby still deserved every opportunity to grow up and become somebody. And this man went out of his way to try to end three people's lives. Are y'all going to continue to date men like this? I guess the numbers will prove it. Y'all continue to see me, send me emails. I'll continue to do the stories. I'll continue to report it until this thing stops. To Nolani, Young Princess, RIP. To the family, I understand that you guys might not see things my way, but I think that us as adults have to make better decisions. We have to be held accountable from the time that we are grown going forward. And that's just the end of it, okay? Thank you guys so much for listening. That's why we advocate for children first. Put the children first, okay? Thank you.